For all the groups of students that I've taught writing to, one thing remains the same for every single group. Kiddos love writing informational texts because they love feeling like an expert. They want to tell you all about dolphins, all about baseball, all about their favorite K-pop band. No matter what it is they're writing about, students are typically really, really eager to share information about the things that they know. However, writing an informational text is a challenge and teaching students to write these texts can be even more challenging. That's why I want to share with you some of our favorite tips for some of the most important lessons you're going to teach during your informational writing unit. The lesson I'm focusing on today is teaching your students how to generate topics for their informational writing. This is going to be one of the first lessons you're going to want to cover with your students because you have to have a topic before you can start working towards that writing piece. Helping students generating that topic for their writing is so important for a few different reasons. First and foremost, students are going to come to you with every idea under the sun. It's important that we teach them how to narrow those ideas for something they want to write about. Next, students might also bring you topics that they can't write about because they don't know anything about it. That's why lessons like these are absolutely crucial in our writing classroom. Let me show you some of the things I do every time I teach my students how to generate topics for an informational text. The first thing I want to do is make sure I have great mentor texts available to my students. This can be a collection of nonfiction books available to your students in your classroom library, it can be samples of other student writing pieces, but most importantly, you want to choose a mentor text that is going to be really targeting the idea for these writing mini lessons. That's why I love to use the mentor texts that come in our informational writing units because they are very straightforward and they look like student writing. They're going to match what your students are going to be expected to create through this unit, meaning they're going to be able to relate to it really well. When I'm teaching students about generating topic ideas, I love to use a mentor text and then discuss with students what do we notice the writer did about their topic. One of the biggest things they need to recognize is that the writers are writing about things they already know a lot about. Once we've captured that big idea, we're ready to move on. After my students have had time to interact with the mentor text, I'm going to then move on to having them help me generate ideas. This modeling is so important for writing because students need to see how you are thinking before they start doing that independent thinking on their own. For this, I'd love to make an anchor chart where I'm going to be capturing ideas that are all about things I love and things I already know a lot about. The love piece is really important because we want our students to write about something that is engaging for them. Yes, I know a lot about how to take your car to get an oil change, but do I actually want to write about how I take my car to get an oil change? No, I want to pick a topic that I am really, really interested in, and we want our students to do the same. Another addition to this anchor chart, or even another lesson entirely, could be having students brainstorm things they are very curious about. That curiosity piece is a wonderful tool to use in your informational writing unit. I do have to warn you, you need to make decisions here about how much researching your students are going to be doing. If students are going to be writing about something they're curious about, they're going to need to have a lot more time to do research for that topic in order to write about it. Whereas if students are writing about something they know and love, they're already going to have a lot of information to work with, then cuts down on your research time. So think about how you want this to look in your classroom and consider letting your students brainstorm things they're curious about too. Now that my students have seen how I would brainstorm ideas for an informational writing piece, I'm going to turn it over to them. They're going to use the same format we did in our lesson, so it's something they're comfortable and familiar with. While students are working independently, this is when I like to pull a few students who I know are going to need that extra support. Maybe they were lost in my mini lesson, or maybe they're already telling me they're going to write an informational text all about unicorns. This is when I'm going to want to jump in and pull those students to come work with me while everyone else is brainstorming independently. This way I can support those students as needed to help them generate some writing ideas. There you have it. By the end of this lesson, your students should have a collection of ideas they might be interested in writing about for this informational text. 
Generating a topic is such an important skill and it's one that students are going to continue to use anytime they go to write an informational text. Setting it up like this where they can interact with the mentor text, brainstorm alongside you, and then do the work independently is setting your students up for writing success. I know I've already mentioned these informational writing units and I want to let you know they are linked up in the cards and down in the description box. These are where I got those mentor texts from, but also where I got all of the resources shown in today's lessons. They have the lesson plans, the writing rubrics, student notebook resources, anchor chart ideas, everything you need to teach a strong informational writing unit in your classroom. If you're looking for more tips and tricks to help your students with informational writing or any other mode of writing, check out this playlist on our channel. It is chock full of great ideas for you. If you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. We put out new content here every single week and I would love to have you join our community. Last but not least, happy writing and I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.